you know, as a little girl, I was in so much pain and I just got tired of complaining. And I just curled myself up in a little ball and just wanted to go away. My name is Kareem. I've been living with juvenile idiopathic arthritis since I was five years old. Growing up, I had a really regiment schedule, if you will. Monday through Friday, I'd be at physiotherapy for an hour, hour and a half, even before I went to school. And so a lot of my find is just like learning just to take it easy, get my sleep, my eating habits, um, ensure my environment chill is like there's not as much stress. Sleep affects persons with arthritis a lot more differently than someone with non-arthritis or people or someone who's not diagnosed. When like, struggling with arthritis and sleep, if I'm not having enough sleep, and then sometimes even I have like a lot of sleep, I'm, I'm still not functioning. Typically for someone to be uh, diagnosed with insomnia, they need to be experiencing symptoms of either difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, and also feeling unrefreshed. And these symptoms need to be occurring every other day for at least two weeks. And what we see is that when people start developing insomnia, um, the symptoms tend to persist uh, quite a long time, anywhere between six months to a year. This is what we call chronic insomnia, and chronic insomnia studies show tend to be um, occur more frequently in people who have chronic conditions such as arthritis compared to in the general population where they may subside uh, within a few weeks. And I'm always looking for, for new ways. I'm always wanting to learn and or research new ways, you know, to help, you know, relax myself or just to bring my, you know, condition in, in stabilize, you know, remission side. I believe in and support research 100%. The first line of treatment for insomnia is actually what we call cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, also known as CBTI. CBTI is what sleep experts recommend. It is a behavioral type of intervention. There's no medication involved. Basically, it involves learning new strategies, new behaviors, new ways of thinking about your sleep that really can help promote sleep. The problem is CBTI is not widely available. There is not many experts across Canada who are trained to deliver CBTI. So accessing it is really a challenge. So we were gonna be testing it on 52 patients with arthritis who have sleep difficulties. This research is that given the findings that we obtained from the needs assessment, we are in the process of tailoring the program and then we will be testing the program in a small pilot study. Ultimately, we hope that this research will provide an evidence-based program so that patients can learn to better manage their sleep problems. It will be a program that will be accessible, delivered over the internet, completely self-guided, and we hope to see that these symptoms of sleep will not only be improved, but we'll also see improvements in other symptoms that tend to cluster together around sleep, such as fatigue, such as pain, such as depressive symptoms. Having arthritis and coming across a program regarding sleep and to help me learn, manage, better understand would help me function. I feel like we're burnt out due to lack of sleep. And so, better understanding sleep and the role it has on our health condition, I believe would create more longevity in life.